loaded onto the backs of camels among the last stocks of food aid in conflict-hit northern Ethiopia. The footage released by the World Food Programme reflects the severe humanitarian situation in Tigray and it's people like mother of six Leite Mariam who are paying the price. I couldn't sleep at night or think straight in the day thinking about what to feed my kids. I still think about how to provide for my kids. Thousands have been killed and more than two million forced to flee their homes since the war broke out ten months ago. Now the United Nations warns that a de facto blockade is bringing millions to the brink of famine. The WFP video was filmed at the end of August in northwestern Tigray. Sachin Tate is a WFP staff member in the area. We don't have any food stocks at the moment to, to plan with or to distribute. Whatever we have is currently being distributed or has already been distributed. More aid has since materialized. 100 trucks covering 3,500 metric tons of food and other supplies arrived on Sunday. But the WFP called that a drop in the ocean and says that 100 trucks need to be arriving every day to meet the needs of the population. A spokesperson for Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has dismissed allegations that the Ethiopian government is blocking food aid. The UN has called on all parties to the conflict to allow the movement of supplies into the region. It says 5.2 million people, or 90% of Tigray's population, urgently needs humanitarian assistance. That includes 400,000 already facing famine conditions. The world body has also warned that the spread of fighting to the neighboring Amhara and Afar regions has exacerbated the crisis, uprooting at least 300,000 more people and meaning another 1.7 million need food aid.